everyone welcome back to the new video on backup except 16 and uh, today I will show you how you can use optimized duplication or replication within backup exec to uh, backup your data if you have uh, multiple sites so that you don't have a single point of failure now uh, before we get into the configuration uh, let's take a scenario so imagine if you have uh, multiple remote sites so in this case as you can see I have a Vancouver and I have a New York and I have a uh, DR recovery site which is in Toronto what you can do is within backup exec with using central admin server or a KSO and uh, configuring manage backup exec server at the remote location and in all the location you have to create a deduplication drive and share with all the servers uh, you can uh, replicate the data back and forth so that uh, in case something happens you have the data at multiple location which you can use to restore now for this demonstration what I have done is that uh, I have uh, one central admin server which is in Toronto site and I have a managed backup exec server in the Vancouver site and uh, I'll show you how you can uh, backup the data first at uh, the Vancouver site and then you can duplicate or replicate the data to the Toronto site. Okay, so let me go to the central admin server. So as you can see, I am on the central admin server. This is at the Toronto location. Now, if you don't know about the CAS or central admin server and manage backup exec server, I will recommend please watch my previous videos in which I have given the steps how to configure that. And I've also uh, made the video on how to configure the deduplication drive. Now for this uh, demonstration, I have created the deduplication drive. So as you can see, under KSO, I have a deduplication storage device. And on the managed backup exec server also, I have a, a deduplication storage device. And I have shared deduplication drive be uh, between both of them. So what you have to do is after you create the deduplication disk storage on the managed backup exec server, you can right click and you can go to the share and over here you have to share with the central admin server and you can hit ok after that so since i've already shared that uh, and other thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, after you create the deduplication and you share that one you need to restart the services so this i have already done on the managed backup exec server and the same thing you have to do on the central admin server too so this is the deduplication drive uh, on the castle I will right click and uh, I will share and I will share with the managed backup exec server so as you can see that this has already been shared and I will hit OK and I will restart the services so you will see that the uh, storage has been shared uh, between uh, both of them so the whole idea is that uh, when you run the backup because it's a deduplication uh, device only the changed blocks will be transferred across the van so you don't have to go through all those uh, full backup you know with the deduplication algorithm it does the fingerprinting and the blocks which has all it's only which are changed or the unique blocks that's the only will be copied to the target server okay since this has been configured so let me go to the KSO admin server and the server in question over here is my demo domain controller so as you can see that DC so this is the one will will be uh, backing up using the central admin server so let me go to the backup and restore which I am on highlight the DC and I will right click and under the backup you have the option of backup to deduplication disk storage and then duplicate to uh, deduplication drive you will select that I'll select the agent based backup select next let me give the name exact demo replication and uh, I will select test edit credential and uh, I will test all so it's already been selected so it's okay and uh, I will hit edit and here I'll select what I want to back up so I don't want to do 
any system state backup I will expand the C drive I will deselect all and the only thing I want to backup is the replication folder and I have also hex document in this one too so I'll select OK so this part is done and then under the backup I will select edit I don't want to do any incremental backup I'll keep the same name backup exec demo replication I want to run now with no reference schedule and under the storage what I want to do is I'll select the manage backup exec server and the storage which I want to use is the dedupe drive on the manage backup exec server which is selected already and uh, you can uh, select the retention period I'll leave that to the default I will don't want to do any compression on encryption but if you want you can always uh, select that right but I'll leave this to the default too and uh, I'll hit OK and I want to duplicate this to the central admin server so I'll select edit I want to duplicate this one I want to create without any schedule and I want to duplicate data immediately after the source task completes and under the storage I want to select the dedupe drive on the case source and uh, I want to keep this one for four weeks I don't want to do any compression or any encryption so I'll leave that to the default and I'll hit OK so as you can see that after the backup is done initially on the manage backup exact dedupe storage device it will duplicate to the central admin server dedupe storage and I'll hit OK so the backup process has been initiated now if I go under the job monitor you'll see that the process is in the active state so so what we are doing is that what we are doing is I have this manage backup exec server on the Vancouver site so I'm backing my do domain controller locally on the dedupe drive and then I'll duplicate the copy on the castle which is in the Toronto site so basically only the change blocks will be transferred because these are all deduplication storage device with the deduplication engine and the fingerprinting it will only transfer the unique block now another thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, imagine a scenario if you don't have a, a very good van link between the two sites there is something what you call seeding of data so if you don't have a very good because initially when you do the full backup it it will be uh, it will take some time because obviously there is no data available on the case of deduplication drive so in case you want to save that time and it's a very big file what you can do is that you can back up the data and you can copy that locally on an external hard drive and you can transfer this or you can take this uh, to the Toronto site and you can ingest this data onto the deduplication drive so that uh, the first full-time backup doesn't have to be uh, you know if you don't have a very good WAN connection the f it doesn't have to go through all the way to the WAN you can do locally and anything uh, after that one you can utilize the deduplication uh, technology and only unique blocks will be transferred okay so let me go to the user interface so as you can see it's initializing and uh, it's running now so we'll wait after the backup is done locally on the Vancouver site and then duplication part is done at the Toronto site so the backup to the uh, Vancouver site has been successful and uh, now it's duplicating the data to the Toronto site now from the licensing side it's very important to know that uh, you need to have a central admin server because if you don't have a central admin server uh, you cannot uh, share the storage between uh, multiple uh, backup exec servers so you need to have an enterprise server option and and each location you'll be needing the deduplication uh, license too so in our case 
because we are talking about the Vancouver and the Toronto side, so you need to have a deduplication in the Vancouver and at the Toronto side too. In case you have another remote uh, site, so say New York in this case, you need to have a deduplication over here too. In case you're using the capacity addition model, it comes with the unlimited features. You have the option of enterprise server, you can deploy manage backup exec server, deduplication. But in case you're using the traditional method, you have to have all the features bought separately depending upon the number of sites that you have. Okay, so let me check if the duplication persists. So it's loading the media, so it's still going. This is a fresh install that I done of backup exec 16. So as you can see the logo. the duplication process is running and hopefully we should be getting the successful notification here we go so the duplicate process was also successful so uh, you have uh, the data at both locations so I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day